Yo, what is good, my anime people? <sighs> Honestly, this week's episode of Destiny was much needed in the grand scheme of why things have been happening so often to our characters. And the suspicious call to the guy with the shotgun, um, the shotgun girl, them saying that, you know, this is right near them. This is something that um, they're heading towards. And our characters are already either there or we're now understanding what it is that they're getting called about. And it's seemingly about their own people going rogue and using hell to attract certain D2s because of a tone that she can make with a certain ability, being able to practically group them together and do whatever it is she wants with them. This now comes with the problem of how many times has it been this dude who has been awake, reawakening all of the D2s, right? Has there ever been a moment where D2 was just doing its thing by itself and it just happened? Or was it all happening because of one person? And that brings me back to a show called Bleach, where instead of just having, you know, someone being in a situation and things are happening and they're unexplainable and they keep happening or something worse happens, uh... It was all come to find out that it was one dude orchestrating it and making it happen the way that it was happening. So, if that is the case with this, it would make a lot of sense why uh, our main character has been attacked or um, our girl Destiny has been able to send so many D2s every single time to go to different areas. Um, the crazy part about all this is how they're going to handle... Uh, the head person now and all this power that he has especially with our main character not being a all the way up to uh, you know full headspace and he's healthy and sleep has a lot of sleep on him he is completely drained emotionally and physically uh, to the point where after fighting only one enemy that they're now fighting eight nine of plus hell um he is he's not going to be able to make it through the rest of this fight period like he should not have a chance of fighting as long as he would need to especially if the guy is smart he sends out all the d2s leaves himself for last bada bing bada boom you have a worn down enemy who you can easily slap with little to no effort but it is that if that is the case i'm super curious to see how long it's going to take for him to get saved because there's no way he's going to beat this person especially learning that he's the reason why everything that happened to him in the first place happened he is the reason why that festival got attacked he is the reason why charlotte died or at least was sharing the body of this other woman or this other person so for him it's an easy want to kill, but at the same time, I don't think he's ready, not to mention he's already traveled a huge amount of distance just to get to this place, not to mention, like I said, he fought one and was ridiculously tired, so I'm hyped for this. I hope y'all are having an amazing day, night, evening. I am your boy, the Anime G, and I will definitely talk to you sooner than later. Peace.